I give it to you. Here's my worship, all of my worship. God, receive my worship, all of my worship. Here is my worship, Jesus, all of my worship. God receive my worship, all of my worship, and I will not be sad. I'll always worship. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you, Jesus. And I will not be silent. my worship, all of my worship, here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship. You're deserving of my worship. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. We're not looking at our situation, Jesus. We forget about ourselves. It all belongs to you. My worship belongs to you. I want to share this with y'all real quick. It's from Job chapter 1. We'll start at uh, verse 20. For a little background, Job had lost everything. And uh, he was left with nothing. Lost his family, his children, to be specific. He lost his livestock. He lost all his money. He lost all his properties. Let me read to y'all what Job did. In verse 20, it says, Then Job arose, and he rent his mantle. He ripped his mantle. He shaved his head and he fell down upon the ground and worshiped. And 
and said, Naked I came out of my mother's womb, and naked I shall return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. <laughs> and I know some of the people who are watching this video may be in a season or a situation feel like you've lost it all and you're hurting and the Holy Spirit is allowing me to feel this hurt that you're feeling you feel disappointed in yourself in the people around you you feel left out you feel alone this I encourage you to worship God why because he's God because he's good despite what this world offers us and what this world has in store for us he's still a good father and he'll never leave you or forsake you I know it don't feel like it right now but he's there and he sent me to tell you that you're not alone that you are loved, that you're not forgotten, and that he's holding your hand the whole way. <laughs> I'm in a situation right now in a season where I'm hurting and it's frustrating, it is so frustrating. But I told God, I got out of the shower and I told God, I said, God, I trust you. I trust you, no matter what. And did I shed tears in that moment? Yes, I cried. But he's been so consistent in my life. I cannot afford to turn my back on him because of the situation that I'm dealing with. These situations are temporary, but God's love is eternal and it reaches deep beyond all our faults, beyond all our pain, beyond all our suffering. God is telling you today, I love you because you are you and you're perfect the way that I created you. You don't need to change anything about how I created you. This world has poured things into you that I want to take out. The pain that the world has poured into you, the hate, the, the, the suffering, the, the hurt. He wants to take it out. And all while he's doing this, it may be painful, but we have to offer him our worship in the midst of it all. So as long as you're breathing, you must always worship Him. I will not be silent. Come on, say that. I
Worship you. So here is my worship. 